We have the sacrum here. It's actually fuse vertebrae, five of them. S, and if you're a kid, you would have actually S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 rather than a sacrum. But once it fuses, it becomes the sacrum. One of the nice things about this is then you can kind of see the remnants of the old vertebrae. So you can imagine the vertebrae bodies are essentially these guys here. The ala or this large wing is like the transverse process and this little spine in the back, uh, the median sacral crest is considered like the fusion of the spinous processes. But let's walk through some of the structures that we have in, this, in the sacrum here. A couple things. This first, I always think of the first one and this is the promontory. I, they say it's the most prominent area of the sacral body and I always think, oh yeah, if I'm going to smack this into somebody's face, the promontory is the first thing that kind of hits. You get a nice auricular surface, uh, the ear-like surface just like uh, on the pelvic girdle, you can imagine that that is where we're going to articulate with. It looks like an ear to some people. And then you get some sacral foramina. These used to be the intervertebral foramen, uh, but now they are the holes. Now they are considered sacral foramina, multiple. You get some transverse lines where the bodies have fused. You get the ala, which is the fusion of the, tr the transverse processes. And if I turn it around, you also get the median sacral crest and then the lateral sacral crest. Median sacral crest, fusion of the spinous processes, lateral sacral crest, fusion of the articular processes. And then of course you get the superior articular process with the art articular facet, which is just the surface here. Nice smooth surface. The process is the whole chunk. The surface is, uh, the facet is just this little surface here or here. You also get a little canal, also known as the sacral hiatus, which is the opening and then the sacral canal that leads into that. That would be the sacral hiatus opening and then the sacral canal, voila. And of course, this is where then it ends up. Uh, you can see the canal coming all the way through and then this is the place where it would attach to the, sacral, uh, the coccyx. So let's walk through these markings again. Promontory, transverse lines, sacral foramina, the ala, the auricular surface, the median sacral crest, the lateral sacral crest, the superior articular process with the facet, the sacral hiatus with the canal all the way through, and voila.